Now this female has presented with spotting as well as uh, no fetal activity. Uh, her dates are consistent with uh, 15 weeks gestational age, whereas what we are seeing in the uh, ultrasound is that uh, the uterus is inverted fine enough and it measures uh, 9.5 centimeters in a 4.7 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter, which is uh, to be considered within normal range. This is the anterior myometrium, this is the frontal region, posterior myometrium, this is the cervix, and uh, this is the longitudinal section, this is the urinary bladder in this uh, patient, pregnant female. This is a longitudinal section. Okay, after this, if we see that uh, this is the, this black area, irregular in outline, this. This is the, I am moving along the outer surface of this black area, now the posterior margin of this. This is the dilated endometrial canal, which measures approximately 18 millimeters in this dimension or other, yeah, 18 millimeters. And in this, you, you see that there are ecogenic areas. This is an ecogenic area, even the ecogenic area here. And there are scattered areas of ecogenicity with no posterior wall acoustic enhancement. Now this, is, this area is consistent with a clot in the dilated endometrial canal. So this is, uh, and, the, and this ecogenic uh, material may is 23 uh, millimeters in length and 9.9 .9 millimeters in uh, <coughs> anterior posterior diameter. So this is a case of uh, misabortion with retained clot in the dilated endometrial canal, if you can see, this is a better view giving the maximum dilation of the uh, endometrial canal, uh, 20, 20 millimeters, and the normal endometrial canal should not exceed more than 14 millimeters, and uh, ecogenic uh, material is seen in both longitudinal as well as in transperception. So this is a case of placed uh, abortion with retained uh, this is of cross within the dilated endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. This region. And this, these ecogenic areas within this, all the ecogenic areas without any posterior shadowing, are the cross keeping in view the history of the patient. And the, this is the cervix, the anterior lip of the cervix, the posterior lip of the cervix. This is the internal loss. It is closed. This is the gestational sac. Fluid in the other endometrial canal, there is no gestational sac seen it's as such. There we are. It, this being the uterus, this area, this being the endometrial canal with fluid, and this internal ecogenic area being the clot. This is the cervix with closed internal walls. So, this is the case of the day. Thank you.